Imagine living a life without financial worries, where you can save for your future without compromising your present. Sounds like a dream, right? But what if I tell you that it's possible? Yes, you heard it right. With the help of the 50-30-20 rule, you can budget your income and save for the future with ease. It's time to take control of your finances and plan for a brighter future. In this video, we will explore the concept of the 50-30-20 rule, understand how it works, and learn how to implement it in our daily lives. So get ready to take the first step towards financial freedom. Number one, understanding the 50-30-20 rule. The 50-30-20 rule is a budgeting method that divides your income into three categories, needs, wants, and savings. Understanding this rule is crucial for achieving financial stability and avoiding debt. We'll break down each category and explain how you can allocate your income accordingly. Number two, 50% for your needs. Half of your income should be allocated to your necessities. These include things like rent or mortgage payments, utility bills, groceries, and transportation costs. By prioritizing your needs, you'll be able to cover the essentials and maintain a comfortable lifestyle. But remember, try not to overspend on unnecessary items or splurges as they can easily eat into your budget and hinder your ability to save for the future. Number three, 30% for your wants. Indulging in your wants is necessary to keep your spirits high and keep yourself motivated. The 30% allocation will help you fulfill your desire without disturbing your financial stability. You can spend this amount on non-essential items such as dining out, shopping, or a weekend getaway. This percentage ensures that you enjoy the fruits of your hard work without overindulging and losing sight of your financial goals it is essential to keep track of your expenses and ensure that you do not go overboard with this allocation. The 30% can quickly become a burden if you do not plan and prioritize your wants. Therefore, it is crucial to set limits and be mindful of your spending habits. Remember, the 30% allocation is for your wants and not your needs. It is important to differentiate between the two to ensure you do not overspend on your wants and neglect your necessities. With proper planning and execution, you can achieve your financial goals and still enjoy the things that bring joy and happiness into your life. Number four, 20% for your savings. Saving for the future is crucial to achieving financial stability and the 50-30-20 rule makes it easier to achieve your savings goals. Here are some creative tips for saving 20% of your income. To start with, you can automate your savings by setting up a direct deposit from your paycheck to a savings account. This way, you don't have to manually transfer funds and risk spending it on non-essentials. Another way to save 20% is to reduce your expenses by adopting a frugal lifestyle. You can cut down on unnecessary expenses such as dining out or purchasing expensive clothes. Instead, you can opt for cheaper alternatives such as cooking meals at home or buying secondhand clothes. Consider opening a high yield savings account to earn more interest on your savings. These accounts typically have higher interest rates than traditional savings accounts and can help you reach your savings goals faster. You can also set savings goals for yourself and track your progress regularly. Having a specific goal in mind, such as saving for a down payment on a home or a dream vacation, can help motivate you to stick to your savings plan. Make use of cashback rewards programs, couponing, and loyalty programs to save on your purchases. These small savings can add up over time and help you reach your savings goals faster. Finally, consider investing a portion of your savings in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, and other assets. Investing can help you earn more money on your savings and grow your wealth over time. Number five, how to deal with unexpected expenses. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Life is full of surprises and unexpected expenses can pop up at any time. 
whether it's a car repair, medical bill, or emergency home repair, it's essential to be prepared for these unexpected expenses. In this chapter, we'll explore some creative ways to deal with unexpected expenses while still adhering to the 50-30-20 rule. One way to deal with unexpected expenses is to create an emergency fund. This fund should be separate from your regular savings account and should only be used for emergencies. It's recommended to save at least three to six months worth of living expenses in your emergency fund. Another way to deal with unexpected expenses is to cut back on your wants temporarily. While the 30% allotted for wants can be enjoyable, it's important to prioritize your needs first. When unexpected expenses arise, it may be necessary to cut back on dining out, shopping, or other leisure activities until you get back on track. A third way to deal with unexpected expenses is to negotiate with creditors or service providers. If you're facing a large bill or payment, it's worth reaching out to the company to see if they're willing to work out a payment plan or reduce the amount out. Many creditors are willing to work with their customers to find a mutually beneficial solution. In addition, it's important to regularly review your budget and adjust as needed. If you find that you're consistently falling short in one area, such as the 20% allotted for savings, it may be necessary to adjust your budget to ensure you're staying on track with your financial goals. Number six, common budgeting mistakes to avoid. It's important to understand that budgeting is not always easy, and there are several common mistakes that people make. To help you avoid these, we've put together a list of the most common budgeting mistakes. Starting off, one of the most common mistakes people make is not having a clear understanding of their spending habits. Another mistake is not tracking their expenses leading to overspending and losing track of where their money is going. Additionally, many people tend to underestimate their expenses, which can result in overspending and blowing their budget. On the other hand, some people underestimate their income, leading to not having enough money for their needs and wants. Another mistake is not prioritizing their expenses, resulting in not having enough money for their necessities, such as bills and groceries. In contrast, they may be overspending on things they don't need. Furthermore, some people tend to compare their finances to others, leading to overspending and unnecessary expenses. It's important to remember that everyone's financial situation is different and it's crucial to focus on your own financial goals. Lastly, many people overlook the importance of building an emergency fund, resulting in not having enough money for unexpected expenses and falling into debt Number seven, staying motivated and tracking your progress. Tracking your financial progress can be a motivating experience. It's like a journey where you get to see how far you've come and how much closer you are to your financial goals. In this chapter, we'll explore some effective ways to track your progress and stay motivated to continue budging. Make a visual representation of your goals. Creating a visual representation of your financial goals is an excellent way to stay motivated. You can create a vision board or a savings thermometer to help you see how much progress you're making towards your goals. Use budgeting apps. There are many budgeting apps available that can help you track your progress. They allow you to see how much you're spending and saving, and some even provide personalized advice based on your spending habits Celebrate milestones. Celebrating milestones along the way can help keep you motivated. Whether it's reaching a certain savings goal or paying off a debt, take time to acknowledge your achievements and reward yourself for your hard work. Find an accountability partner. Having someone to hold you accountable can be a great motivator. Find a friend or family member who can check in with you regularly to ensure you're staying on track with your budgeting. Reflect on your progress. Reflecting on your progress can help you see how far you've come and identify areas for improvement. Take time to review your budget regularly and adjust it as necessary. Stay positive. It's essential to stay positive and keep a can-do attitude. Budgeting can be challenging, but with the right mindset and a commitment to your financial goals, you can succeed. Track your net worth. 
tracking your net worth can help you see your overall financial progress. This includes your assets minus your liabilities. You can track your net worth over time and see how it grows as you continue to save and invest. Revisit your goals regularly. Revisit your financial goals regularly and adjust them as necessary. Your goals may change over time and it's important to ensure they remain relevant and achievable. Share your success. Sharing your success with others can be a great motivator. Whether it's sharing your progress on social media or with friends and family, celebrate your achievements and inspire others to take control of their finances, stay committed. Finally, staying committed to your financial goals is crucial. Budgeting requires discipline and dedication, but the rewards are worth it. Keep your eyes on the prize and stay focused on your financial future. As we wrap up our discussion on budgeting and savings, it's time to gear up for day 10. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next chapter of our financial journey. Tomorrow, we'll delve into the world of couponing where you can save big on your grocery bills and other expenses. We'll cover everything from the basics of couponing to advanced strategies for maximizing your savings Get ready to become a savvy shopper and stretch your dollar further than ever before.